In this final lesson of this series, we're going to do some minor modifications to improve user interface. So firstly, I would like to change the variant of my current theme. To do this, I'm gonna open up Common Palette and choose Command Preferences Color Theme. In here, I can change my current theme. I'm gonna keep my theme, but I will change its variant and use Soft instead. This variant will be less contrast. Of course, now my color of the sidebar doesn't match the color of the editor. So I'm gonna switch over to my configuration file. In here, let's find an object where we redefined some colors of the current theme. And we need to modify the color of sidebar background. So in here, I'm gonna use a different color to match this color with the editor color, like this. Then let's switch over to the terminal, and in here at the top we can see some elements which I don't really use, so I would like to hide this panel. We're going to use APC Customize UI++ extension to redefine some styles of elements. First of all, we will open up Developer Tools, inspect the element that we need to apply styles to, and then we'll have to use appropriate selector inside this apc.stylesheet object to apply styles to that element, just like we were doing in one of the previous lessons. So to hide that panel, I'm going to specify style visibility with value hidden, like this. And once again let's open up terminal, and this time we do not see that top panel. I would also like to make the line height inside the terminal a little bit smaller, so let's switch over to the configuration file, find an option with the name terminal.integrated.lineHeight, and instead of 1.8, we're gonna use 1.5. And with that, we're finishing customizing terminal. Then we're gonna work a little bit on this top panel to better align these three elements, traffic light buttons, file name, as well as sidebar title. So let's start with aligning traffic light buttons with the file name. As always, I need to select an element and then apply appropriate style. In this case, we're gonna assign padding bottom with a value of 6 pixels. And once I'll save these settings, we can see that the file name is better aligned with traffic light buttons. And now we also have to do the same to align sidebar title with file name. So again, let's select sidebar title by specifying appropriate selector and tweak line height property. Let's use 2.8. And after doing all these modifications, all those three elements are better aligned in relation to each other. So let's continue. We can also notice a little shadow at the bottom of the header as well as at the bottom of sidebar title. So I prefer to get rid of this shadow. We can do so by applying the following rule. This will hide shadow at the bottom of the header, but we also have to write additional rule to separately hide shadow of the sidebar title. So let's do it. And we can see both shadows are gone. Alright, now let's closely watch the sidebar, as I'm gonna toggle it on and off. As we can see, sidebar background changes while it's opening and closing, and this background does not match the overall background of the editor. And the same thing is going to happen whenever I'm going to toggle terminal on and off. So to fix it, we have to overwrite background color of the whole editor, so to do it, I'm going to specify the following selector and assign property background with the proper color. And after saving the changes, as we can see, we no longer get that color mismatch while toggling sidebar as well as terminal. And with that, we are done with customizing Visual Studio Code. So now let's just recap what extensions and additional tools were installed during this course to achieve VS Code look we currently have. 
So the color theme that is used is called Aura Spirit Dracula. Besides using custom theme for the editor, we also use custom theme for sidebar icons. And the extension that is used to change sidebar icons is called Material Icon Theme. Then to have ability to even more customize interface of Visual Studio Code, we have installed an extension called APC Customize UI++. This extension has great capabilities to customize almost every piece of interface of Visual Studio Code. Then, just to make VS Code interface a little bit more alive, we have installed VS Code Animations extension, and this extension adds animations to VS Code UI elements. Also, we have installed a couple of additional tools to improve integrated terminal in VS Code. The first extension was Oh my ZSH, which is kinda like collection of tools and extensions to ZSH shell. In order to improve the prompt of the terminal, we have installed Starship extension. To get cool auto completions inside terminal, we have used extension called Fig. And by the way, besides auto completions, this extension also has lots of cool different features. As the main font, we have used font called Denk Mono. But this is a paid font, so we have also reviewed free one, which is called JetBrains Mono. And also we have to install a special font from the Nerd Fonts family, just to make all special characters to look good inside terminal. And after using all those tools and applying configurations step by step, we were able to achieve this final minimal look of Visual Studio Code, which additionally has cool animations. And with that, we're finishing this series. The link to the repository with these configurations will be in the video description.